Hello, uh, very good uh, day. Uh, welcome to WBP Star uh, here in Atlantis the Palm Hotel, uh, restaurant Oceano. Uh, my name is Grégoire Berger. I'm the chef uh, of the restaurant. So today we're going to prepare different recipes and the first one to start it's uh, an illusion of a tomato. All right, so let's get started. We have different vegetables that we're going to put to marinate. So to start, a bit of uh, bell pepper. So here we have three pieces. So the idea here is to create a tomato that is not really a tomato with a gas patcho. Just to marinate, the size is not really important. Right, so we have banana shallot. White onion. So it's a preparation that we're gonna let marinate overnight. And we'll not mix it with a blender, we're gonna use a, what we call a press puree, a mashed potato grinder. Any type of variety, here we have plums. Thank you. 
tomatoes are coming from uh, Italy right now. So we mix different varieties depending on the season and depends on uh, which part of the world. Because the good thing being in Dubai is that every product can come from seasonal products from all around the world. And here we have cucumbers. And we keep the skin. It's not an issue because uh, we'll not mix, mix it like I said uh, previously. And it, it will help to give more taste. So I think what is interesting here is that it's very uh, classic and traditional recipe, but we will give it a tweak that will make uh, make it very exceptional, very different. And here we have basil leaf, so just to give this uh, distinct flavor. So here we are. We have all the vegetables mixed together, all right? So we're gonna add on the top balsamic, white balsamic vinegar. Olive oil. A little bit of Tabasco. Of course, salt and pepper. So this will stay a night in the fridge. The salt will help to re release all the water out of it, and the marination will, uh, will really uh, give a lot of taste to the gazpacho. So we're gonna take this and put it sous vide overnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll just uh, mix it into a, a mashed potato grinder, which. Uh, will allow us to extract all the juice from it and of course not give this gray, green aspect that we're gonna get from the basil leaf and also from the cucumber, so. Hello again, so yesterday we've been marinating uh, all the vegetables for our gazpacho illusion of a tomato. So uh, today what I've been done previously is that I took all those vegetables that I process into a, a food grinder, mashed potato grinder, uh, just to extract uh, the liquid out of it, so it's very flavorful, very fragrant, a little bit sour, uh, and very, very tasty. You can see it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna freeze uh, this gazpacho into a, a shape bowl, basically that we have here. All right. Uh, just to give uh, the shape of our tomato. All right. So we're gonna use this uh, piston. And we will now put it into it.
here with them. Just put it on the freezer two, three hours in the blast freezer at minus 18 degrees. And then uh, we will proceed to the, to the coating uh, with our next step. So now we're going to proceed to the coating of the, the gas pacho. So here we have our secret glaze made out of duck fat, white chocolate and cocoa butter. Our tomatoes. So we use the black mold, like you can see. And we're gonna use this to dip it into it. So we take it like that. And we dip two times. We need to make sure that our glaze is around 30, 34, 36 degrees. And then right after, we we'll put it on the ice to solidify it. Keep inside, there's no, no problem. And we keep going with all our tomatoes. So the gazpacho will melt inside and create a, a liquid, uh, liquid uh, gazpacho and with the help of the coating it's going to be crunchy outside and liquid inside. So here we are. Tomato is ready. So now we, we will keep it in the fridge two hours. It will defrost slowly, slowly and get ready for the service. So now the last step of our uh, tomato, uh, it's the plating. So we have our tomato. Very fresh, very very fragrant, a little bit sweet. And here we have the tip of the tomato that is edible. And we made also a tomato chip from the same tomato. Right. So we're gonna start to put these tomato chips on the top. So it will give the illusion that the tomato is cut. And on the top of it, we will put our tip.
So here we are, Elysian of a Tomato.